Hi everyone, a long time no talk. Um, the whole quarantine situation kind of got me into a slump where I didn't plan for a little bit of time, but now I'm back and hopefully more religious upload schedule will be happening. Anyways, as you can see here, I am planning in my A5 rings. I'm planning to move into a ring planner pretty soon since it can have basically all the needs I need to have in a planner and also super portable. If you guys like the inserts that I've just shown, they are 100% free on my website. The link is in the description box. Feel free to go and grab them. These inserts will fit most standard kits. I made it specifically so that you can find kits that are currently on the market to use with these inserts. Before we get started, I wanted to say thank you so much, Christy, for sending me this gorgeous customized washi cutter stencil. It is gorgeous. It's customized to me. And not only that, it works really well. All of her information and links will be down in the description below. So make sure to check her out. Give her some love. I think she is absolutely talented and I think this washi cutter is amazing. So let's just get into the plan with me. As you guys know, I've been trying to do more of a chit chat discussion plan with me since you guys can obviously see what I'm doing on the screen. I wanted to take this time to kind of talk about topics that you all may be interested in. So if you guys have any interested topics that you would like me to discuss, definitely leave a comment in the description and I will probably get to it. So a question I receive is what goes on owning an Etsy shop or a sticker shop specifically since I'm a sticker shop owner. And to give you guys some background, I opened my sticker shop back in December 2018. The first month was kind of just getting it out there, doing a dry run and seeing how it goes, learning the interface of Etsy. I stayed on Etsy for about six months. I'm still on Etsy, but that's not the website that I promote. I actually promote my own Shopify website because I find that I have a lot more control on Shopify. For this specific discussion, I'm going to go into more details about the initial first six months and originally opening up my shop. So the biggest thing that I did prior to opening an Etsy shop was testing everything out and making sure that I knew what I was doing before fully going into it. And what I mean by that is I did a dry run of how printing and cutting or mass printing and cutting would feel like and look like and I had to evaluate if this was ever kind of how my shop grew, would I be able to handle that and would I be able to maintain and sustain it. This is after I already decided on what kind of cutter I wanted. I went with the Silhouette just because I found that even though the interface is pretty hard to understand and it's kind of complicated, I feel like it gave me a lot more flexibility in what I wanted and it's a little bit more familiar than the Cricut app in my opinion since I did grow up using Photoshop for a pretty extensive amount of time. At this point in December, um, or in October, I did not have the printer that I was going to use. Actually, this is how I came to find out that I actually really didn't like the printer that I had, so I had to get a brand new one. During the whole process of printing and cutting for this Facebook group giveaway that I was doing, I had about 20 people. Um, I found out that the printer that I had was super, super slow. It ran out of ink incredibly fast and the ink refill was super expensive. On top of that, all of that, it just wasn't a good printer. So I really like having this test drive, giving away the sticker kit to some people prior beforehand so they can give you kind of a short review or their opinion on it and also seeing how your actual machinery work in such an intensive environment. This is an experience I highly recommend anyone who is thinking about opening a shop to really go through. If you've already invested the money into the printer and the cutting machine, do a test run. Get about 5 to 10 different people who want your kit or whatever product that you're offering and do a mass print and cut. That way you realize what the bottleneck of all of your machinery is. For me, it was the printer, but after like the first 30 or so sheet, I realized that my cutting machine would make these offset cut where it would not cut where it was supposed to and from there I learned how to navigate and fix these issues before it actually revolves and become an issue in my actual shop when I launch. Now that you kind of got all the kinks worked out, it is time to actually open your shop. I started on Etsy and before I started I actually went ahead and designed about five sticker sheets 
I realized that the more items and the things that you have on Etsy, the better the algorithm picks you up and the more chances of having somebody view your products. And if more people view your products, you'll have a better chance of actually having a purchase. Don't feel too stressed out anything the first couple of days. It could take a bit of time before you get your first order. I was so happy and I was super lucky because a YouTuber friend of mine actually purchased my stuff the minute I kind of announced that I opened my sticker shop even though it was only on a test run or a dry run the first month which was December 20. 18. So thank you Rochelle so much for that for supporting my shop when it just really originally first started and opened. It's one of the biggest motivating factors for me to continue. Going a little bit out of timeline here but I actually bought the silhouette sometime in June of 2018 and it took me two or three months to really learn the application and even then I would say I'm not even a pro of it yet. I just know all of the icons and the functionality that I personally use. There's tons of things you can do on the silhouette, including design directly in the silhouette. I personally do most of my design and figuring out where things go on Photoshop instead because again, I'm more familiar with that. So my number one tip for all of you guys, if you are interested in opening a shop, the very first thing you should do is learn the application. The applications are free for you to download onto your computer. So go ahead, download either the Cricut Space or the Silhouette Studio learn how to use that, play around with that a little bit, and then make the investment into the silhouette. So that is it for the discussion of all the information and kind of what I went through prior to opening my Etsy store. I know that this was kind of not as structured as I would like it to be, so hopefully in the future I will figure out how to make it go a little bit more smoothly. As for now, I hope you guys enjoy the video and have a wonderful rest of your week. Bye!